Numbers 3. This is the account of the family of Aaron and Moses at the time the Lord talked to Moses on Mount Sinai. The names of the sons of Aaron were Nadab, the firstborn, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. Those were the names of Aaron's sons, the anointed priest who were ordained to serve as priest. Nadab and Abihu, however, fell dead before the Lord when they made an offering with unauthorized, with unauthorized fire before him in the desert of Sinai. There, there had or they had no sons, so only Eleazar and Ithamar served as priests during the lifetime of their father Aaron. The Lord said to Moses, Bring the tribe of Levi and present them to Aaron, the son, the priest, to assist him. They are to perform duties for him and for the whole community at the tent of meeting by doing the work of the tabernacle. They are to take care of all the furnishings of the tent of meeting, fulfilling the obligation of the Israelites by doing the work of the tabernacle. Give the Levites to Aaron and his sons. They are the Isra they are the Israelites who are to be given holy to him. Appoint Aaron and his sons to serve as priests. Anyone else who approaches the sanctuary must be put to death. The Lord also said to Moses, I have taken the Levites from among the Israelites in place of the first male offspring of every Israelite woman. The Levites are mine for all the firstborn are mine. When I struck down all the firstborn in Egypt, I set apart for myself every firstborn in Israel, whether man or animal. They are to be mine. I am the Lord. The Lord said to Moses in the desert of Sinai, Count the Levites by their families and clans. Count every male a month old or more. So Moses counted them as he had as he was commanded by the Lord by the word of the Lord. These were the names of the sons of Levi Gershon, Kohath, and Murai. Murai. They are they were the names these are the names of the Gershonite clans Libni and Shemi the Korathite clans Amran Izahar Hebron and Uzil the Murite clans Mahali and Mushi. These were the Levite clans according to their families. To Gershon belonged the clans of the Lebanites and Shemites. These were the Gershonite clans. The two the number of all the males one month old or more who were counted was 7,500. The Gershon, Gershomite clans were to camp on the west be, behind the tabernacle. The leader of the leader of the 
families of the Gershonites was Eliasif, son of Lael. At the time of meeting, the Gershonites were responsible for the care of the tabernacle and tent, its coverings, the curtains at the entrance to the tent of meeting, the curtains of the courtyard, the curtains, the curtain at the entrance to the courtyard surrounding the tabernacle and altar, and the ropes, and everything related with or to their use. The uh, to Korath belong the clans of the Amorites, Isharites, Hebronites, Uzziahites. These were the Korathite clans. The number of all the males one month old or more was 8,600. The Korathites were responsible for the care of the sanctuary. The Korathite clans were, the, were to camp to the south side of the tabernacle. The leader of the, of the families of the Korathite clans was Elazar Fernand. Son of Uziel. They were responsible for the care of the ark, the ta the table, the lampstand, the altars, the articles of the sanctuary used in ministering, the curtain, and everything related to their use. The chief leader of the the chief leader of the Levites was Eliezer, son of Aaron, the priest. He was appointed over those who were responsible for the care of the sanctuary. To the Merorite belonged the clans of the Maalite and Mishites. These were the Marite clans. The number of all the males one month old or more who were counted among was 6200. The leader of the the leader of the families of the Marite clans were Zul son of Abahel, they were to camp to on the north side of the tabernacle. The Marites were appointed to take care of the frames of the tabernacle, its crossbars, post bases, all its equipment, and everything related to their use as well as the post of the surrounding courtyard with their bases, pegs, and ropes. Moses and Aaron and his sons were to camp to the east of the tabernacle towards the sunrise in front of the tent of meeting. They were responsible for the care of the sanctuary on behalf of the Israelites. Anyone who approached the sanctuary was to be put to death. The total number of the Levites counted at the Lord's command by Moses and Aaron, according to their clans, including every male a month old or more, was 22,000. The Lord said to Moses, Count all the firstborn Israelites, who are a month old or more and make a list of their names. Take the Levites for me in place of all the firstborn 
of the Israelites and the livestock of the Israel of the Levites in place of all the firstborn of the livestock of the Israelites. I am the Lord. So Moses counted all the firstborn of the Israelites as the Lord commanded him. The total number of firstborn male males one month old or more listed by name were 22,273. The Lord, the Lord also said to Moses, Take the Levites in place of all the firstborn of Israel, the livestock of the Israelites in place of their livestock. The Levites are to be mine. I am the Lord. To redeem the seven or to redeem the two hundred and seventy three firstborn Israelites who exceed the number of the Levites, collect five shekels uh, for each one, according to the sanctuary shekel, which weighs twenty geras. Give the money to for the redemption of the additional Israelites to Aaron and his sons. So Moses collected the redemption money from those who exceeded the number re redeemed by the Israelites. For the first for the firstborn of the Israelites, he collected silver weighing 1,365 shekels, according to the sanctuary shekel. Moses gave the redemption money to Aaron and his sons, as he was commanded by the word of the Lord.